Quick story, I was walking home one day and I realized I don't actually know the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, but that has nothing to do with the content of this video. Then I had another thought, what is home? Let's explore that, shall we? Hey, what's up, World Wide Web? Welcome back to the channel where we explore my mind and explore the world. So today we're going to be exploring the topic of home and what is home? What does home mean and what does it mean to me? So whenever I go to travel across the country or across the globe, people will ask me, where's home for you? And I'll tell them, I'm from Toronto, Canada's most populous city, one of its more well-known cities, and I don't actually live in that city. I live in a town called Richmond Hill, which is located just north of Toronto. If I went for a trip around the world for about a year, and I decided to go home, where would that be? What would that look like? Would I be going to Toronto? Would I be going to Richmond Hill? My town has a population of over 200,000 people, which is more than the capital of Newfoundland and Labrador, St. John's. This town has way less of a sense of identity and also way less tourists. And I think that's a problem because I believe home should be who you are. It's you. It should represent you. It should make you feel, for lack of a better word, at home. So how does a town where its biggest identity lies in some green moraine, a big telescope, and some figure skater guy represent me as my home? Because I'm not that into green areas or astronomy or figure skating. Maybe this town doesn't represent me in the things that it likes in its interests, but more metaphorically. Like the town I live in, we've both had better days before us. Plenty of better days before us. And now a lot is changing. And it could be for the better, but some might argue for the worse. But we're both trying to figure things out. We're both trying to figure out our identity and who we are. We both have a lot of ideas for what we want our future to look like, but no real certainties. And I guess in that sense, this town does represent me. Richmond Hill is my home, and my home is me. And I think your home should be you as well. But hey, that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments about what you think home means to you. I was inspired to do this video by a video production company which asked a bunch of people what home it means to them, and uh, I'll link that in the description below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to be notified of when my next video will be, which will be next Thursday. But that's all I have for you guys today. Till next time, go explore something.